Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Richard. This is Right of the Street Theater. And I have found yet another film entitled Parasite. Yes. This one from 1982. And guess what? It is set in the future year of... 1992. Currency is useless. All things must be purchased in silver. There has been a nuclear war. And America has been taken over by corporate evilness. <laughs> oh yes, and the, the doctor has developed a uh, parasite as a, a weapon against the Nazis and then accidentally infected himself with it. Before I go any further, let me remind you folks that for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchased one of these bracelets here. It's from the company 4Ocean. And 4Ocean will pull a pound of trash out of the big blue or off of our coastlines every time I do that. So if you watch this video and you don't comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, then you're a bad person. I'm not kidding. Really, you don't have to do that much to su support this channel and help that environment. Anyway, this particular uh, plate of really cheesy sci-fi nachos happens to be Demi Moore's first movie. And I mean, you know, I wonder if there's a picture of her. Yes. Yeah, here we go. There's Demi playing opposite the main character. She actually plays Hot Chick with Big Bottom. And uh, Hot Chick with Big Bottom is the, uh, the Ray of Light character. She's just total goody two-shoes, apparently lives on a lemon farm <laughs> up in Joshua Tree. Where, you know, there are almost no human habitation anymore. And this is where this doctor runs to try and conduct his experiments to save himself from the parasite. Okay, you know, and he shows up there. And really, this is just, this movie serves as a warning for what's going to happen if we have a nuclear war. Uh, it's kind of a dumb movie. It looks like it was filmed in the 80s. There is some super technology, but no, no real computers or anything like that. You know, the company is the mark of the beast and tattoos people. And really, yeah, okay, it's a boring movie. It's... Not terrible, but again, it's one of those watch-only-if-you're-bored movies. I uh, guess there is nudity, not Demi Moore's. There's a, uh, uh, truple, sort of a couple, a truple, three, uh, two men and a girl, and, and their thing is the girl likes to, uh, pretend she's being assaulted, so, uh, they tear her clothes off and tie her up. It's weird. It's definitely very 80s. Just remember that 80s was, you know, the height of cocaine in America. So there's a lot of weird in that decade. Also, the parasite looks like a big salamander. Without legs. Kind of like a tadpole with teeth, really. I think it's the most ridiculous thing you ever see. It's like... It, latches on to people and they turn gray and yeah and it's like the thing is big enough why can't you burn it off that's what you do with a leech just so you folks know that is actually what you do is if you get an abnormally large leech on your body the easiest thing to do is to burn it off there was a case, there was an actual case, where a leech 
bit this person on the arm, not in the movie, it was real life, and the person wound up dying because they didn't get the leech off soon enough. But when the, uh, the ambulance finally got there, what they did was they took a blowtorch and burnt the leech, and it came off. But, I mean, before that, a sheriff tried to cut the leech, which would theoretically make it come off. And uh, this did not work. It only dug deeper. In this movie, they cut the parasite, and it digs deeper. And, in fact, they repeatedly refer to the parasite as being on the person's arm. Probably because that the writer of this read the story about the leech, may have forgotten about it. But uh, the leech was in a lake that uh, there was a, a factory, no, there was a laboratory doing genetics experiments. And chemicals from the factory got into the leech and then got into the girl and killed her. This was in a death documentary I saw back in the 90s. So yeah, it's uh, probably the correct error. Anyway, so yeah. You know, Parasite, you can tell it was supposed to be a 3D movie. The 3D is kind of silly. There's a fair amount of gore. If you're a horror fan, hey, put this on your watch list. This is um, currently free on Amazon Prime. I'm sure you can find it other places. I Sadly, you can't get the 3D version unless you, like, find a DVD of it or something that's neither here nor there. But yeah, you know, this is an old-timey movie. It is nachos for your eyes. If you're into nachos for your eyes, go watch this movie. As for the rest of you, eh, give it a pass. It's not that great. I'm Richard. Greetings, capitalist pigs! I am... Cannot see the blood of my enemies, Borgoff, reminding you to like and comment on this video. And you can find more of me on the Power Sister Horses exclusively on Absurd TV. Directed by Mark Schaefer.